is uh, snow. Um, it's kind of a hard snow. Has a nice ice layer, kind of on the top of it. Um, I guess if you watch the if you watch the rest of this video, you'll figure out if we can get this sucker stuck or not. Now, for what I know, this thing has 12 and a half inches of suspension in the rear, and the rear is more of a nice work mode um yes this does have the rear seats i can tell you this that the rear suspension is a lot tougher than the front suspension because i've rode in the back of this thing before lots of bumps and it just it's like you're always stiff and it's horrible now you sit in the front and it's really nice because I think this has either 13 or 12 and a half inches of ground clearance, but this is a nicer, sportier shock. And this one's a more work type of shock. So, yes, this machine is half off road, half work. And um, I guess that's for what we got it for and for what we wanted it for. Well, that's, um, that's exactly why we bought it. Machine that would pull that out. Um, 
But yeah, it's off road. That was in Tool Drive. That was in Tool Drive. Well, I guess Tool Drive and Four Drive wouldn't really matter, but just to let you guys know. Um, I could put it in turf mode where it sends more power to one wheel instead of the other, but whatever. Um, but in an off-road stance, we've never got this stuck. Um, and I, I mean, I'm driving around a tool drive right now and it's not really struggling at all. Can we go through our garden? Oh, a little struggle. A little struggle. capable machine if, if you guys like I said in this video if you want something for just work this is this is good you might be spending a little too much money I'd go get something maybe like a Kawasaki mule depends on what conditions and stuff for you are in I'm not gonna get really into it um if you want something work play Honda Pioneer would uh it is exactly probably what I would uh I would advise for you guys to get because it's a very capable working machine and it's it's sexy looking you can't say it's not sexy looking i know some cams might be oh yeah they look better blah 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 I have a little bit more horsepower blah 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 but overall um it is a, a good sport slash off-road machine um like i said if if you want something just for sport, I'd go check out the Honda Town. That thing, oh, they can probably go, they can go a lot of places just stock. Um, also, can this one, but, you know, like Kawasaki Mule, red one over there, eh, it's iffy. It's iffy. It, it, it does pretty good. But, um, for this video, can you get the Honda Pioneer stuck? Yeah, you can. You can get anything stuck. Um, have we ever gotten it stuck? No. 
Um, will we ever get it stuck? Hope not. Probably shouldn't be able to get it stuck. Um, 12 and a half inches of ground clearance with the have uh, Kawasaki Mule with eight inches. And, and we've gotten that stuck a couple times in a foot and a half, but this one we didn't. Almost did, but didn't. Um, that concludes it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you are new, make sure you, um, make sure you like, subscribe. Um, but definitely if you are new, make sure you subscribe. I want to grow my channel before, um, well, before, let me, yeah, I'm, I'm going to use that word before. I, uh, wanted to get a thousand subscribers in one year. And that didn't happen. But the way it's going, I hope to get a thousand subscribers by the end of 2022. So, please, if you guys want more Honda Pioneer content, comment down below. Hit the subscribe button. Share it to people. Hit the like button if you like my videos. If you don't enjoy them, oh, I'm sorry. But we'll, uh, we'll see you guys next time on Wade Farms.